Hello YouTube, uh, good evening, or whenever you're watching this. So, Kids Garage here doing a quick video. Um, I haven't posted one in a while, and that's just because I've been really busy. Um, so, the Mustang kind of broke down on me the other day. Um, obviously, it didn't actually break down, but, uh, I mean, not obviously, you guys don't know. But, um, I was driving around really, you know, I was pushing it really hard to its limits. Ignore all the blue crap, I just... I was hoping this Plasti Dip was going to be closer to that. I mean, now you can see the difference. It's like purple. That's like baby blue. So, um, I mean, it matches my uh, college sticker, as you can see right there. Um, so what happened was I was driving around, just screwing around with the you know loud exhaust and the crackle and pops. I left it in first gear, revved it up to around 6,500 RPMs and then let off and then it's just wow, bow, 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 and it's all doing the popping and then all of a sudden this heater hose right here blew off. Um, it didn't actually blow off. Um, what happened is the stock quick disconnect, it just snapped inside the hose. So I went, tried, I bought the hose, tried hooking it up uh, with the quick disconnect that comes with it, or not comes with it, but one at AutoZone, and it was just a tad too small. So what I did is just, I just, I let the hose warm up, and then I pushed it over the nipple of the heater, heater line. So there's no more quick disconnect. It's just on the nipple itself. It hasn't leaked yet. I've been driving it normally, like I do, and it hasn't leaked from there either. That nipple is actually good. I've seen a lot of them break off. I was hoping I didn't have to do an intake, and I got lucky. So, now oh, I also had to move the harness out of the way to get in there. But uh, I mean, it's running good. There's a little miss. Um, I also noticed, if you look closely, you might not be able to see it. My crank pulley is wobbling. So I gotta get that looking at. It's not too bad. Nothing I have to worry about yet, but I'm gonna, gonna fix that wobbly crank pulley. Um, I'm gonna go give it a bath and then do an update video. I removed all the uh, excess plastic dip other than like that spot right there. But uh, the whole headlight was blue. As you can see, I uh, just, when the hood's closed, you can't even see that. So I'm gonna go give it a bath. As you can see all the nasty crap all over it. And then I'll do a quick update video showing you guys what it all looks like. I just wanted to do another update. Um, so if you guys, end up wanting to go with the quick disconnect if for all you 4.6 mustang owners out there i think the uh bullets and the cobras are a little different because they have different intakes um just just do kind of what i did i mean you don't need that quick disconnect it's kind of a waste of money in my eyes it's just a piece of plastic when i can just put it on the actual metal and then uh so yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys have a good one um let's go ahead and Head out. See you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Maybe this engine compartment. I know it's a little uh, overkill, but uh, there's that. Um, and then just yeah, subscribe. Turn on the little bell. Get my notifications for when I post. And then you'll follow, or you'll see my uh, follow-up video uh, here soon, uh, within the next day. All right. Love you guys.